welcome to my farm. I'm Joan Ruskamp from Dodge, and joining me today is Ruth Reedy from Scribner. We volunteer for Common Ground, and today we'd like to visit with you about agriculture's positive impact on the environment. As a volunteer for Common Ground, I hear a lot of concerns about the impact of agriculture on the environment. Steve and I have lived on this farm for 40 years. We bought it from his uncle. Before that, his father and their siblings and grandfather fed cattle here. So there's been cattle on this farm for over 100 years. And I share that with you because we've always known in agriculture the value of crops and livestock in producing food and having a positive impact on our environment. Methane is what the discussion is when it comes to cattle. Cattle eat food and the digestive system they have is that there's a belching process and that belch is methane. The thing about methane is it's called a flow gas and so when you think about the greenhouse gases, a flow gas goes up and it breaks down pretty fast and it comes back down. Stock gases, CO2, go up and they stay there. Methane goes up, breaks down to CO2, comes right back down into the plants out in our fields who are absorbing it, converting it to food, and putting a bunch of oxygen back up into the atmosphere. Cattle are an important part of our farm's ability to have a positive role on greenhouse gas production. The methane they produce has a methane math formula making a beautiful cycle of carbon going into plants, oxygen into air, and food on our table. We're out here in the soybean field to talk about plants. And plants are something that I think are very important. My husband and I, Sid, farm near Scribner. He's also a science teacher. And so when I talk about plants, I talk about science. And of course, agriculture is science. So let's take a look at what the carbon cycle is and why plants play a key role in that carbon cycle. Plants like soybeans take in CO2. They combine it with water and the sunlight and they produce glucose. This glucose then is used for food for humans and animals. Along the way, of course, oxygen is released by every plant that is photosynthesizing. As farmers, we want healthy plants because healthy plants can do the job of taking that carbon out of the atmosphere and they take it and put it into the glucose. They also take the carbon and put it back into the soil so it's stored there and not in the atmosphere as a greenhouse gas. We really want to make sure that you understand that carbon is a part of every living thing. You and I have carbon and every plant that we grow contains carbon. This is what we call our pantry at the feedlot. Here you can see different ingredients stored. This is the glucose Ruth was talking about. The plants have been harvested and converted in a way that our cattle can utilize them and convert them to beef. According to the EPA, agriculture accounts for 10% of greenhouse gas emissions. Only 4% of that 10% is due to livestock. The carbon cycle of plants, the oxygen, the carbon, and glucose all play an important role in providing healthy, nutritious food for all of us to eat. We hope you enjoyed spending time on my farm with Ruth and I. And as you think about agriculture, we hope you make your decisions based on facts, not fear.